There's nothing so American as our national parks. The scenery and the wildlife are native. The fundamental idea behind the parks is native. It is, in brief, that the country belongs to the people, that it is in the process of making for the enrichment of the lives of all of us. The parks stand as the outward symbol of the great human principle. One of the things that has bugged me since I became Secretary of State was the lock on that gate out there. And the fact that the people, not only the people who live uh, in this community, but people up and down our state didn't have easy access to, uh, to this historic site. So today, um, that all changes again. And uh, as a Secretary of State, I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm very, very happy that, um, that it is. Boy, I mean, this is a really gorgeous spot. If you look at this and look backwards through the trees and just, you know, where we are in the water, it's a pretty spectacular place. And when you think about the history and what this means for our state, it really is, it is that special. And now that this is part of the, uh, the National Monument, uh, makes it only better. Uh, and we got to hear about that from, uh, from Ethan, and we're, we're grateful to hear from him, and also to know about the, all the work that the Department of State has put in with all the other member organizations, which were introduced, but the truth is something like this does not happen with all the other organizations working, uh, working together. So it's a great uh, opportunity for us to reopen this place so that more uh, Wilmingtonians, more people from Newcastle County, more people from Delaware, and tourists from throughout the region, throughout the country, and throughout the world can come here and appreciate what an important spot this is. We've, we had a storied, uh, storied adventure getting to this point in time. I just want to say, walking down here, Governor's already mentioned it, walking down among all these trees, walking down to the river, God, if, if this doesn't make your heart skip a, a beat, something's wrong with your heart. What a happy day to be here. And to Jeffrey and everybody to the Department of State and the Cultural Affairs and everybody who's been a part of this, everybody in the audience and a lot of folks who aren't our Calmar Nickel friends, Thank you so much for, for your role in all of this. We, uh, for years, we had National Park Service for, almost, for 100 years now. For the first uh, 97 years of the National Park Service, if people wanted to find out about a national park in Delaware, originally they could go to catalog or looks like stuff, you know, buy a book or something. And then uh, we got the internet, and then for years people could go on the, uh, the internet and they could look up the National Park Service and see, well, what states have national parks? And uh, they could go from A to Z, or A to W, and to see what states had national parks. And until about three years ago, they'd get to, uh, to D's, the D's, and there's nothing there for Delaware. And you go to the National uh, Park uh, website today, see what's offered in all these different uh, states, the 50 states in terms of national parks, and you get to Delaware and there's a, a story, it tells a story about how a little state, a state called Delaware, helped to start a nation, helped to start a nation. And uh, we think we've done pretty good. And uh, three, uh, 240 years later, 240 years later, uh, sometimes we're challenged, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, you only have to turn on your TV to, uh, to understand and appreciate that. But uh, I think we're gonna get through this. If this country, I'll close with this. If this is a country where we took on the most powerful nation on earth, or bits, beat them once, War of Independence, beat them twice, War of 1812. We had a civil war that pulled us apart, tore us apart, survived through that. We came out of the Great Depression, the mightiest economic nation on earth. Won World War I, won World War II, won the Cold War. And we started this, uh, this uh, century as the most powerful nation on earth, strongest economic nation on earth, most productive workforce on earth. We actually had four balanced budgets in a row at that time, as you might, might, uh, might remember. If we can get through all of that and uh, be the great nation we are today and have wonderful national parks like this, we can get through whatever faces this, our country today, here in this country and around the world. God bless you. For everybody that's had a, a role in this, thank you so much. Ethan, thanks for being us. This is a celebration of the opening of Fort Christina Park. It will be open several days each week. This is the location at which uh, the Kalmar Nickel, a ship emanating from Sweden, uh, came to bring colonists to this area. Uh, the ship actually landed three times between 1638 and 1643 or so. There was another ship that accompanied her, the Kalmar Nickel. But the real founding of Wilmington goes back to the days when Swedish and Finnish settlers landed here. Uh, this park was built in commemoration of the ship's landing, as I say, on three, three different uh, dates. I'm Elisa Bogues, the Educational Director for the New Sweden Center, and this is Kevin Forey our reenactor who portrays Governor Prince. And we have programs that we are trying to educate to communities about our Swedish heritage that started in 1638 at the landing of the Swedes here in Fort Christina Park. Three, two, one, zero. Woo